Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the front bumper on a Honda Ridgeline. And next, we need to remove this sight shield. And to do that, just pull up on it and it pops the clips loose. And next, using a 10 millimeter socket, we need to remove these four bolts on top here that hold the chrome on. And next, we're going to need a wide plastic pry tool. You can get sets of these on Amazon for pretty cheap. I'll put a link in the description below where you can get these. And what we're going to do is pry between the chrome and the headlight. And just pry down on it and pop it loose from the headlight. And once you get it loose, go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. And now that we have the chrome grill loose, we're going to need to pull it back and underneath there is these black clips we're going to need to take out. And there's four of them total. And to remove those, you can use either a uh, clip tool or you can use a flathead screwdriver. And I'm going to show you both ways. So just pull back the chrome and you want to pry the middle piece up using the clip tool and pull up on it and the clip comes right out and again with the clip tool and now with a flathead screwdriver uh, with a flathead you're going to pry a little bit on one side and then go around 180 degrees to the other side and pry up a little bit on that side and just work your way around the clip until you get the clip to come out all the way where you can grab a hold at the top and just pull it out. And we'll get this last one here on the end with a flat head screwdriver also. And next you want to pull the grill back a little bit and you'll see back in behind here this gray tab right here. And there's another one right down there in that oval, kind of oval hole right there. Uh, it's kind of blurry, it's hard to see. It's down right there, down in there, right there. And what I'm going to do is take a long screwdriver and while I'm kind of pulling out on the grill with one hand, I'm going to take that screwdriver and I'm going to push down on both of those pins to release the grill from them. And you'll see when I, when I push the pin in, the grill is going to give out right there and get this next one right there. And now you can see that the grill has released from those two gray pins right there. Uh, the one on the bottom, it's loose. It's still kind of hooked in there, but it's, it's loose from it. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side also. And next, come around to the side of the bumper here. And we're going to need to remove these three Phillips screws, starting here at the bottom, the next one, and then one here right here. And then you want to grab a hold of the molding right here where it meets the fender 
and just pull out on that portion. And then once that's loose, you're going to pull down on the fender liner and you're going to want to get one hand in behind there. And with one hand, pull out of the molding and with the other, push out on the tab behind the bumper. And same with the lower tab. And then where this molding meets the lower bumper, you want to take a small flathead screwdriver and you're going to come in at a 45 degree angle behind the lower bumper portion and there's a little tab in there we're going to push in on and pull out on that molding. And this is the tab right there that I was pushing in on. I was just coming in at an angle and pushing in right on that tab right there. And then these are the yellow clips behind the bumper that I was pushing out on right there and right there. And then just gently pull this molding to the side and we're going to remove this Phillips screw right here that holds the bumper on. And next we're going to take our skinny plastic pry tool and what we're going to do is with one hand we're going to gently pull out on the bumper and with the other we're going to pry down on the slots in the bumper popping it loose from the plastic spacer behind the bumper. And you can see the uh, openings in the bumper right there. I'm just prying down on those and kind of pulling out at the same time. And you're going to do it all the way up to the headlight. And you want to do the same thing on the other side also. And next, we're going to climb underneath the bumper here. And starting here on the driver's side, there's a bolt here on the end. You need to use a 10 millimeter socket to remove that. And then next we have a clip just like the ones we removed above. Use a flathead and start on one side and pry a little bit and work your way to the other side and just pry the clip out. And then down from that we have another 10 millimeter bolt and then another bumper clip. And these clips on the bottom, they can get a little bit tricky. As they get older, they get pretty grimy. Uh, if you do end up breaking them, it's not that big of a deal. You can also get replacements of these on Amazon, and I'll link to those below also. And then next, in the middle here, we have a series of 10 millimeter bolts that need to come out. And then just continue along the passenger side, removing the clips and bolts just like we did on the driver's side. And then go around to each side of the bumper and pull directly back on it. And that pops it loose from that bracket you see there underneath the headlight. And once you have both sides off, gently set it on the ground. And then we're going to go in behind the bumper and we're going to unplug the wires by just pushing on the tab on the plug and pulling out and you want to go to both sides and do that and that's it guys your bumpers off thanks for watching